Hello everybody, Sif3 again with a continuation of our The Perfect Tower 2 to, to, to run. And um, yeah, I did a bit of farming, so we got a bunch of resources. Uh, let's quickly see how many we have. I mean, we have 1.27 billion. I, I let it like run for, I guess, one hour, maybe two. But I'm not sure it's going to be that important. Now, uh, I also unlocked water attack, so might as well equip that. And uh, I also uh, found something else. Some kind of defensive ability. Uh, I guess water resistance or something. Doesn't really matter. We're not going to go defense anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let's, uh, let's level up all of these things. So, let's say, for example, 1 million. 46 million. It's a bit too much. 100k. 4.6 million. Yeah, let's go with 100k. Let's see if 100k is enough level everything up to the max so this is enough this is enough and um yeah i mean i'm still missing a lot maybe i need a bit more let's go with 100k am i stupid i i twice go for 100k let's go for 1 million 46 million there oh it's oh this is 210 million so we got a bit of money here let's go with a few millions Let's go with all of them. Blueprint only. Yeah, with 1.18 million, we unlock, we leveled up seven of those. So we are done with that. Now for the headquarters themselves, I still need a few to get maximized. But instead of doing that instantly, you should not really try to... In my opinion, you should not go for instantly workshop level out max and then right into the modules. Um, level up to the next tier. I don't think that's like a good idea. In general, I think you should... Uh, whenever you're very powerful for a bit... You should try to push levels here and get some meta progression so that when you reset, you are better. Because all of these meta progressions do not really get reset. Now, uh, let's also go through the motions here. We're going to go into the laboratory, go to the neutral experiment. Always see if you got the goals. And if you didn't got the goals, always expand. So this doubles. So there's that. Also, let's not forget the mining. We should always do, you know, the mining. <laughs> let's uh, put the drill on again and uh, do like a bit of mining here but honestly i don't think it's really that important right now to mine but uh, you know i'm still doing it just because by the way there will be later a way to mine a lot faster but uh, for now we're just gonna go with the slow road uh, specifically the way is going to be that we will unlock like an ai and that will then mine for us and then even later i will even have workers mining for us but for now we're not gonna do that for now we just have the worker um, constructing buildings. By the way, he doesn't have enough money, so might as well throw a bit in this. How much is 100k? 4 million. 1 million? 40 million. Uh, let's go with 40 million. That should be a dent on this number, not on this one. Nice. So 1 million is enough. He will start the, the workshop construction. I'm okay with the workshop construction because it takes only 8 minutes and we're going to be doing something else here for a while. Uh... I would have preferred if he constructed the construction firm. So if I see it, uh, that it goes to... Yeah, let, let, let us leave it for the workshop for now. And then later I'm going to come back and make it upgrade the construction firm. Although, honestly, maybe... No, nah, let's get the workshop now done so we have it ready for when you start the runs later. Now, for the rest of the things, let's go into... Should I go next experiment or should I go power plant? Uh, you know what? The power plant is pretty simple. So let's go through the power plant real quick. So there are a bunch of mechanics here. As you see, there are technologies. I'm going to skip the first technology as it doesn't even do anything. You have to unlock the next one. So let's right away get, uh, let's say, 10,000. 7 million. Yeah, that's fair enough. Let's get 10,000 of those to... Um, you know, start doing some things here. First of all, how does this work? And what's the purpose of this? The purpose of this thing is to boost your other buildings, like how fast they do things. And uh, how you achieve that is you have to build up a grid here that will make you produce energy. Now, how you do that is, first of all, you have to unlock the second energy because in the beginning you only have the very basics. So let's unlock the second energy. Also, let's uh, power up this. I don't think I'm going to spend money for this right now. Let's not do that. And uh, after you unlock the first tier, um, you need to produce energy. So for you to produce energy, the first thing you will need is to be able to store energy. So let's store a bit more than just a thousand. Let's pay 50 to get like a bit of energy storing here. Here, that's it. Actually, yeah, 9,000 store up to... We can store up to 9,000 energy. And now we're going to produce energy. Now, for you to produce energy, you have to read what something that produces energy says and then go back from words from there. So, for example, right now I'm seeing... This here says that it produces power. I say energy, but I mean power. So, this says it produces 30 power per tick 
for 10 liter of steam. Okay, then we have to go backwards more. We need steam. What produces steam? This thing produces steam. It says it produces 30 liter steam uh, by giving it 4k coal and a thousand uh, four kilo yeah, coal and a hundred water. Where are we gonna get the water and the coal? We're gonna scroll up a bit more. We find coal in here. That's nice. So this needs four. And this has 2,000.2.5k. And then water here, infinite water. So uh, as I said, now that we have our roadmap up, our road mapped out, we're gonna go with water pump. You know, let's uh, let's put it here for now. Uh, there is no real plan. And then literally next to the water plant, I can go for the gold gold burner. So I can go here, boom, done. And then that needs coal, so boom, done. So this right now has steam, has water, has coal, and it's waiting for us to output the steam. Actually, you know, it has coal, it has water, and it's producing steam. And now we can use that steam. Now this thing says that it produces 3D liter steam, and this consumes 10. So I can put up three of those, for example, one, two, three, and then I can just, you know, provide fluid. I can do one, two, three, and we are done. This is a connection here is bad. So let's actually remake this because, you know, not uh, not thinking about one step ahead. Let's go like this and let's go fluid pipe. Now these three should all be connected and they should power up as far as I know, at least. I mean, yep, they are powered up. This, by the way, is uh, the storage they have sitting, right? So it was 34 seconds. That doesn't mean anything. It means that it's also consuming while also getting. And now you see uh, this produced to the max. This is fully out. This is full out. Everything is full out because our energy got full out. If, for example, I put another battery here at the bottom, like one, two, three, you're going to see that these will start working again. The number is not maxed out because it's consuming. But after that, it's fully done. So we got this energy. What we're going to use this with? We go over here at boosts and we decide what we want to boost. Do we want to boost the construction firm? I would say yes. Do we want to boost the factory? I would say yes. Why not? The mine? I would say yes. Why not? Headquarters? I would say yes. Why not? Shipyard? We don't have that yet. Museum? We don't have that yet. Now, uh, this here is if you want the boost to last a long while or if you want to be powerful, I always go for power because why not? So let's make everything power, even the things we're not going to use. And then we can just press the power button. I can go the whole all my power or I could go a bit of it. And we're going to go all our power so it lasts longer. And we're just going to click this button and boom, it boosts everything now. Everything will go faster. And these things now start again the production. Uh, obviously, the coal might run out, but it's not a problem. You just sell it and put another coal chest next to it. And um, yeah, that, that's pretty much the solution to that. And then after that, you should also have a bunch of batteries. So let's set up some batteries here and we run out of money. Very nice. That was very quick. Let's maybe level up the batteries here a thousand. You know what? Let's uh, let's go with, let's get a few more. 10,000. We just need a thousand for the battery upgrade. So my batteries now have 50% more capacity. And by you actually having more power, the boosts become more powerful, right? Like the next boost I'm going to press is going to be bigger than the previous one. And um, yeah, I think that's it pretty much for the whole explanation. What is happening here now? After that, you know, you will unlock more and more and more and more. By the way, I'm stupid. I should have just gone for this thing, but it's expensive. So with the money I wanted to spend at the end of the day, I'm not stupid. OK, uh, but later you get this and then you just uh, replace all of these with the next technologies. As you see here, oil barrel, gas furnace. This is an oil furnace, although it's not visible. And uh, it's pretty much the same thing, like you put oil in the furnace and then the furnace produces steam or you put gas into the gas turbine and the gas turbine provides, I think, energy right away. I'm not sure, but uh, we're going to see that at a later time. But that is it pretty much for the power plant. Now, um, let's go into the factory. Uh, yeah, like it's going to take a while. First of all, the workshop is still constructing. It has 40 seconds and the the factory will take a long while. So let's get into the factory here. It will take, I don't know, five, ten minutes. It's it's like a whole thing. And I think this is what I should um, level up next. Like I'm thinking about throwing all my money into the factory here because these things are actually important. Last time I said that I don't like the factory because, you know, it's a bit too much hassle. But honestly speaking, I have been told that the, the factory produces a lot. And especially if you get to tier twos and I have unlocked tier twos here. If you go to producers, you see I have access to tier twos. So I think I'm going to take like 10 minutes here to try to go through the factory. Now, uh, money wise, I don't think I really need anything. But did you start to upgrade the headquarters? Are you crazy? No, 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 no. We are going to go with cancel this. Yes. And upgrade this. 
So we're going to go with a construction firm. I definitely don't want to upgrade the headquarters right now. Um, as workshop is concerned, I think I should also make sure that I am done with uh, the, this themselves. Like, I need another 14 modules. Hmm. 14 modules is not cheap. Honestly speaking, I think I should even, like, pass the stage. Let's try to pass the next stage. Yeah, let's try to pass the stage, see if we can survive. Because before I did all the upgrades, I got up to 36. So theoretically, I should be able to get up to max now. Especially because of the fact that I have 7 point... Yeah, I have 7.5 million life. And right now, the opponents do 35,000 damage. So I think at the end of this, the opponents might do 10 million damage, maybe. But I think I have enough defense... Nope, I don't have defense at all. <laughs> Cancel that. I have a lot of damage though. 237% on every single stat. Because of the cumulative buffs. Because I only go damage. You know, uh, I forgot to go. Let's 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 restart here for half a sec. Because, you know, my memory isn't the best one. Let's go with contracts. We're going to get this contract. Which is use one module. And then I'm going to also have this contract always active. The colorful. But right now I'm missing an ultimate module. So right now I'm forced to only go with a glass cannon. Let's activate this for the four times resources. And let's run it back. Because in general, if you're going to farm something, might as well, um, you know, farm it right. <laughs> now, I know I'm not spending the whites right now, but I wanted to interject here. You know, this run before I went into the, the, the what is it called? The factory. Because the factory is going to take a while for me to explain and do. It's, it's going to really take a while. It's not really a very quick... A thing to get through you have to be crafting things and then reading things up and then chaining things into each other it will it's it's for people that love crafting and love um, idle gaming by the way i read the comments on yesterday's video and people seem to enjoy the series i also enjoy it it's pretty relaxed uh, i have been told that some people downloaded it because it's free and started playing it alongside me and honestly speaking yeah, I think um, it, it's like a game you can play for about one two hours and then just let it rest in the background around the idle money gain and then you come back play a bit more and continue there isn't really the feeling of you get a huge wall that blocks you obviously there are roadblocks because it's an idle game like partially an idle game but still the game isn't like the rest you always feel progression you can just farm for i don't know you can even farm for 10 20 minutes which is a lot of time in this game and then you can, you know, play with the experiments. Or then you can farm for another 10 minutes and then play with the factory. And then you can farm for another 20 minutes. Then you can play with, uh, I don't know, the electricity. I mean, the electricity thing isn't really that fun to play with. But the other things like the factory or the experiments, there are a bunch of things that you can play around with and uh, waste your time, you know. <laughs> Classic idle game fashion. But still, I like it all the same. And all you do, everything you do always... Um, loops around and buffs your tower in some way or fashion and then you can continue moving more it's either gonna give you more resources so you can upgrade faster or it's gonna give you literally more modules so you can upgrade those and get more stats out of that or it will it might give you more you know faster speed of creation things or in general you get rewards for everything you do so nothing is ever wasted uh, at the minimum you will get resources out of whatever you do so at least you get money now it seems like we're gonna beat the stage very easily so hopefully we're gonna get some good modules out of this. I, I know for a fact that there is a module here that makes your fire attacks insanely powerful. Although I don't have a single fire attack. Maybe this is also gonna drop us some fire attacks. <laughs> um, I, I know some things because of the other save file I have. Oh, by the way, you can also use the these gems to upgrade things. Although I would never ever suggest it. Like, there is no reason ever to waste these two temp for temporary upgrades within the run. It's they're better used upgrading other things, you know, in the in the meta aggression aspect of this. Claim area is most likely gonna get toasted here. Let's hope I have enough money for the factory, by the way, because I have no idea how much it's gonna cost us. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend like one billion in one place, and then after that we will have to upgrade the modules. I mean, we're gonna go through the factory because, as I said, I have been told that the factory is gives you a lot of resources. And if that's actually true, tier 2 that is, tier 2 that is. Tier 1 is not really that good. I can attest to that. But tier 2, I have been told, is insane. So maybe if I go to tier 2 on factory, we will be able to pretty much, um, you know, uh, be self-sustainable. And then I can reset and quickly gather money. And we want here, let's see the modules we got. We got Magma Foundation. This is the DPS boost I said for fire attacks and fire armor, which is pretty much useless. Now, Magma Foundation here, this thing says that... 
Uh, it gives you a fire foundation that provides the tower with some hit points and increased fire resistance, like who cares, but lowers water resistance, who cares. In addition, outgoing fire damage is multiplied by 40. This is the insane part, although I'm not doing in, like fire damage at all right now, but I can slowly build up some fire damage by going to the laboratory, as I said, going over to the fire, see if we unlock something. We did not unlock something, <laughs> whoops. Um, now, honestly, I need to get some loss reduction on this, so let's go with 100k. No, it's a bit too much. 10k. With 10k, let's go with a bit of insulation. So, 97%. <laughs> not a lot, but it's something. 95%. So, at least it will not lose its its thing forever. Ah, let's go a bit more. We can also increase the ticks here. This is extremely important. As you see, this does not give us heat. It gives us a heater. So, this will start building up these on its own. So, we buy this for sure. And now, every... Um, I guess 10 ticks, which is every 10 seconds. So every 100 seconds, one heater is going to get created for free for us. And then tickers, I mean, makes the tick speed faster here. Let's also spend some resources on that so that everything goes a bit faster because this is the, the loss is minute based while the gain is tick based. So ticks is, are very important. And um, yeah, I think there that's with that. Electricity, I love electricity, but I'm going to explain it later, later today. And uh, planting, I mean... It's, it's not fun, but it exists, I guess. Let's go with this and uh, let's plant some plants, which is one, two, three, four. Let's make one of them heat up, one of them cool down. Now, what is happening here is you have a whole slew of, you know, things that might happen. Was this red? Yeah, non 3 by 3 pattern. And uh, those are, you know, the unique ones you can get. Now, how you get them, you have to either give them heat them up or cool them down or uh, water i mean you have to always water them all it has to be day or night but we're gonna just go through all the motions here so we're just gonna stay with start with day one fire one water uh, ice i guess and then we're just gonna you know make them wet now every time you make everything you know the, the board wet it lasts for 150 seconds and depending on each of those it takes more time for them to grow and when they grow they give you this little tree resource which then you can use to either upgrade this or prestige or you know auto plant them in my opinion you should first upgrade this a few times then auto replant which is a permanent upgrade and then start pre prestiging um yeah i mean that's that i'm gonna explain like electricity later but right now it's a bit too expensive for us so we're gonna skip on it and the time has come for us to go into the factory, which is going to take a while. So we're going to throw all our resources in the factory. And you know what? Maybe all is a bit risky. Let's go with half the resources in the factory. Let's go with half the resources in the factory and let's begin. So first things first, my plan is to reduce the tier two red producer. I have been told that this is enough for you to maintain the factory on its own. So we, we will need a tier two red producer for infinite factory resources. And then we're going to transition into a white producer, into an orange producer, so I can easily mine my mine later when I reset. And then the third one, we're going to go with a white producer last. I mean, if if that is something we are able to do. Anyway, let's begin with the red producer, as I said. So what this needs is a produ the previous level producer, which uh, I can get last. We, we need the plate, which is crafted in a presser purchased in the, or purchased in the shop. The same goes for this. And then we got the basic ship, which is also either purchased in the shop. This is crafted in a refiner, so we are forced to use a refiner in what we do. And this also needs a refiner. So we are forced to create a refiner. So let's begin by creating a refiner. We go to recipes again. We go to machines. We go to tier 1. Uh, by the way, if you go to tier 2 and go for the refiner, you're going to see instantly that it needs a tier 1 refiner. So we have to go for tier 1. So let's go tier 1. Refiner. Where is it? It's here. Let's go for refiner. It needs a motor, a dense plate, uh, a bunch of other things. Half of them can be bought. Half of them cannot. So let's go with from start to finish. This needs a presser. So we are one step back. We have to go to tier 1, create a presser. What does the presser need? It needs... This thing that can be purchased on the shop. Hammer that can be purchased on the shop. Um, this is crafted by the refiner, it says. Or purchased in the shop. Purchased in the shop. Purchased in the shop. First of all, let's pin this. In general, we need to pin things. Let's pin the presser. Let's pin the refiner. Where's the refiner? Pin the refiner. Um, yeah, for, for now, that's the only thing we need. So, as I said, we got the presser. First of all, just to speed everything up, buy this upgrade, autofill. Uh, allows you to automatically fill the contents of the crafting grid with the required of the selected recipe. If the crafting grid is not empty, the grid will be cleared instead. We're gonna just take this so we go faster through this. So, as I was saying, we need the refiner. The refiner needs a presser. We go for the presser. The presser needs some things. Shop, shop. 
shop, 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 shop. So we're going to buy all these. We're going to go to the shop. We're going to see what we need. We need two chips. I just bought all of them. Whoops. Uh, honestly speaking, how much money do these cost? Nothing. We just buy them all. Okay. We just buy everything here. As you see, these things cool down. And it takes a long while to cool them down. So let's also buy the other upgrade that says things cool down faster. Uh, doubles the stock limit of all shop items and halves the refill time. Also, the refill time was robber specifically changes to 0 1 second. Let's take that too. So we got faster um, resetting on all of those. And uh, let's see, do I have enough? Yeah, I do have enough. So let's create the processor, the presser. So now if you go to the machines, we have the presser. So the presser is done. We don't need the presser anymore. We can unpin this. Let's go back to the refiner. What does the refiner? Don't create another one of these, please. What does the refiner need? A motor. This is crafting the presser. So let's go over to the presser and see what exactly that needs. That needs plate. We need dense plate. Dense plate needs um, stacked plates. Stacked plates. If you go over to the recipes, you know, it's a bit... Uh, as you see, that's how you get it. <laughs> that's how it works. Stacked plates is here. Stacked plates needs plates. So we can create this. Boom. We got a stacked plate. Let's go back to this thing. Of course, st one stacked plate is one dense plate. So... Yeah, we give it the stack plates for the dense plate. I hope I'm not making a mistake because otherwise I'm going to be using new resources here. Yeah, but it doesn't need the dense plate and it actually needs four of them. So I need four stacked plates. We go, let's pin this too. I need four stacked plates and uh, I don't have enough normal plates. As far as I know, you can craft it in the presser. Let's go back over to the presser as we do have a presser. How do we get stack plates? We put ingot on it. I don't really need the ingots. So let's send them off. Let's send 3D ingots in this. Maybe 3D ingots will take a while. Let's uh, put like 7 and to see how much it takes. 13 seconds for 7. And we need 4 of these. Uh, actually 3 more. So we need 3 times 9. Uh, 3 times 9 is 27. So we need 27 plates. And we have 14 right now. You know what? Send these in too. Uh, in the meantime also create some stack plates. As you see, it uh, seems like all over the place, but yeah, that's uh, that's the, the machine life. <laughs> that's how this goes. And then we're going to need like a few more. We're going to need uh, five more. Put these three in there. Let's put another one. So we have five of those. And I'm going to also send these in. What happens if I put them? Nothing. I can't do anything. Done. Send these in. At the meantime, craft this. Send that in too. And we got our plates. So this is done. We go over again to recipes. We go over again to refiner. So we got the four dense plates done. Now we need the pump. Let's show the recipe. Uh, this needs rubber plate, which is in the presser. It needs rings, which we have. And it needs a motor. What does the motor need? The motor needs wires. Do we have these plates? Do I have flat plates? No, I only have four dense plates and ingots. I'm going to go to the shop again. Buy everything. Because it's important to have a bunch of resources. Okay, do I have these? Yes, oh, I do have these. So we just create a motor. Boom, done. As simple as that. We're going to go over to the recipes again. We're going to go over to the refiner again. Here we're going to go. So I just got the motor for the refiner. Yeah, what? I got the motor for the refiner. We go for the pump. Nope, I got the motor for the pump. <laughs> uh, I will need rubber plate, which is crafting the presser. So we go over to the presser again. We give it like a uh, few, then few, then few. Here, 10. Well, this will take a while. I was not expecting to take that one, but this should be ready. At the same time, I need a second motor as far as I understand. So, yeah, I do need a second motor. So let's create a second motor because why not? Why not? Because I don't have enough plates. I need four plates. Let's uh, let's see if we can buy some. Doesn't feel like we can buy some. I think I will be forced to craft them again. Once again, these resources are non-existent. You should always buy everything there. I need one more plate and this is still doing its rubber. So let's take one ingot out. Put it in there. Boom, one more plate. We'll take one second. So that's done. Send that off. Get the motor out of this. That's done. Let's go back into recipes. We go into the refiner. Do we have all these? No, we don't have the pump. Do I have the pump things? No, I don't have plates. I'm missing two plates. <laughs> Let's go one, two ingots. One, two. I do have the plates. We get the pump out of this. We go back to recipes, we go back to the refiner, we put those in, boom, we got the refiner. Now, why did we need the refiner? 
Well, we need the refiner because once again, in the recipes, we need a refiner to transition from the tier from the tier one to the tier two. Because we need these things. So let's uh, throw this, unpin this, unpin the refiner. We yeah, we, we create first of all the tier two recipe. So we go producers, we go tier one, we go to the red ones. So the recipe, just create one of those. And one red producer is done. So we get that here and let's go on. Now, pre recipe tier 2. Pin the recipe. What does it need? Throw these away. It needs one producer red. A plate tier 3 red. Crafted in the presser or purchased in the shop. Do I have these? I do have tier 3 plates. Tier 3 plates. Yep, I got the tier 3 plates. Do I have the wires? Crafting the refiner. Tier 3 wires are crafting the refiner. That's why we got the refiner and uh, basic chips we have. Craft the refiner, circuit plate. So how do you cre create the circuit plate? You go over here to the thing, refiner. You create the circuit plate, tier three circuit plate. Tier three circuit plate, it does. So it needs one plate or one circuit plate. As simple as that. So we give them one plate. We'll take eight seconds. So this is done. Wire, how do you create wires? Uh, tier 3 wires, by the way, so that should be here. Tier 3 ingot. Cable for a tier 3 wire. Do we have cables? Yes, we have. And we need four of them. So we go one, two, come on. One, two, three, four. Throw them in. Nope, not rod. Not rod. Where's the wire? Cable. Uh oh. Panic sets in as Sift realizes he doesn't have the cables he needs. So I want a cable that's tier 3, right? For that, I will need to use an ingot. That's tier three. We do have tier three ingots. So one, two, three. Let's uh, put one in this. I put two in this. Okay, it doesn't take that while. Might as well throw them all in. And now we're gonna use those cables. Tier three to create some wires. So we have six six cables. Put them all in. We'll take seventeen seconds. We will be done with this. So theoretically, I got enough. Uh, I did all this to just get the refiner, right? So <laughs> we got the refiner. Now we can actually start crafting things. And until that happens, might as well also create an orange producer. Uh, I already have a white one, you know. Circuit plate, circuit plate, screw, screw. I do have screws already, right? Do I have two, three screws? Crafted in a cutter. Well, we can't forget this thing because it will take even more time. Do we have enough for this? Presser we do have, refiner we do have, cutter. We don't have cutter. We need a cutter for the other thing. But for now, for now, we're going to go produce um, recipes. We're going to go this one. We're going to put all in. Nope, I need, the, I need to put this out. Put all in. Get the red one. So before I get this, this gives us 0 0.02. The tier 2 gives us N. You see the difference? You see how fast this scaled up? So we're going to also create the same thing for orange ones. Because if I get the orange one done, then I can easily reset. And uh, by having the mine already pre-upgraded, if we produce 10 orange ones per second, we will easily be able to just reset our progress and get back to where we were. So we need to create a cutter here. As you see, this is all taking a lot of time. But, um, you know, <laughs> um, although I don't like um, putting you through me doing this whole thing. Give me a sec, actually. We need a cutter, right? Now that's the cutter, so we're going to pin the recipe. Is this easy to do? Oh no, three mortars. This does not look easy to me. <laughs> Is this the red one? We don't need the red one anymore. Let's go over to producers and have the orange ones lined up. So we go for the mortar. Plates. Do we have plates? You know, send some ingots in this. we we'll make ready for the plates. One, two. Yeah, we need a few plates. Let's put the half in this for plates. And also dense plates. Oh no, throw them all in. Uh, mortar. What does the mortar need? Oh no, more plates. Rod we have, rubber we have, wire we have. We have all these. We only need plates. Uh, let's once again buy everything as resources are in, in no problem here. Not really a problem. And now we really hope that the plates are going to be enough. Oh, I can create three motors. One, two, three. So the th motors are done. And uh, now we go once again over to the recipes. We go over to the cutter. And now we need dense plates and stuff. Yeah, we don't have dense plates. I need two plates for this. So let's put them here so I don't mix it up. We're going to throw the motors in this so I don't make a mistake. And then the rest of the plates have to become dense plates. What the dense plates needs. Once again, we're going to go through the whole thing. Stacked plates. So we go to the recipes. We go to parts. Well, this, uh, this these will have to get removed. Uh, where are the stacked plates? Here they are. Pin the recipe. Show the recipe. Autofill. Autofill. We get one. 
We get one stacked plate. Very nice. We got some ingots, though, which I didn't realize. So let's throw the ingots in this again until that happens. Let's go to the shop. Let's buy everything because we will need all these because they are never wasted. It doesn't even cost that much. And uh, we will continue throwing in some ingots at this as long as we create plates. Create another plate. I need, I think, two more or one more. Let's actually go to this and don't overshoot. We need three in general. So I need only... Uh, what? I, I, give me a sec here to cre continue creating some plates. So I need three dense plates. I have not enough. I have two. Yep, I have two. So let's get another last one, which is us waiting for, you know, the shop to refill. Nice, done. Throw this in there. Nope. Throw this in there. Get one stacked plate. Go over to the shop again. You see a bunch of going around all the time. I might be making this wrong. I'm not sure. But I think this is the only way of how to do this. Let me create the cutter. Wait, what happened? I need three dense plates. I have them. I need three motors. I have them. And I need two normal plates, of course. Of course. I forgot the normal plates. One plate. One ingot. Throw the ingot in the machine. Not this ingot. This ingot. And now we got our plates. So let's create this. We've got the cutter. And now with the cutter, so we don't need this anymore. With the cutter, I can create screws tier 3. So let's go over to the cutter. I also need dense plates tier four, 3, but that's not really that hard to get. And uh, wires in the refiner. Do we have a refiner? We do have a refiner. So how do you create screws here? I mean, it's really easy. You just put some rods in it. One rod is for screws, so I just need to put one rod in it, and that's done. So we got our screws done. Now we need dense plates. Not really that hard once again. We just have to go recipes. We have to go plates, parts. I mean, we don't need this anymore. We go tier three plates. Stack plates, it's this. We go one, one, two. How many do I need? Excuse me. I need two. Very nice. So we send them off. We get dense will take a while the wires need a refiner how do you create wires well you need cables how do you create cables well you need ingots so i need just to put two ingots in that one two and then just put all the cables on that that's gonna give us three wires so we got the dense plates we got the wires we got the producer orange i mean we got everything here the only thing i'm missing is the producer orange the simple one because this is the tier two so we're gonna go producers tier one orange where's the orange it's here uh, it's very simple, we just create it. I mean, we have infinite of the tier 1 materials, so we get that. And we are pretty much done. So, if we go over to producers once again, look at this, 0 0.02 orange per second. But if we go over to the recipes and actually craft the new producer, it's gonna be, yes, you guessed it, it's 10. So, now we are pretty much broken, quote-unquote. Now, for the white producers, it's 1.75 right now. It's gonna be... Uh, 150 per one but uh, let me actually see if i can quickly create one here can i quickly create a white one circuit plate cutter yeah i have everything you know how many whites do i have i have seven whites let's create some white production here and then we're ready so circuit cutter and refiner and then i need screws at the cutter so i just need a bunch of screws and a bunch of ref um, circuit plates tier three that is circuit plates tier three just plate tier three so let's give it i don't know i need i need two and two times two times seven is 14 so i need 14 let's go with 14 12 here it is 14 let's put them in plates or circuits plates yep 14 boom done it's gonna take two minutes and then screws i need four times seven that is uh 28 so as i said screws tier three is this thing which is a rod tier three which is this one so Oh, I just need to put seven thing, seven in it, as it produces seven per time anyway, four per time anyway. That's gonna take twenty seconds, and uh, I think they should add like um, what is it called? Uh, put everything back into order button, but it's okay. Now until that whole thing happens, we're gonna wait a while. I mean, there isn't anything to be done here really, other than waiting. 
And then after that, we can reset because we set up our meta progression currencies like 10, 10, and this is going to be like a um, thousand plus per second. And then we can easily reset. I know this took like 15 minutes or something, and a few people might get bored seeing this. But um, yeah, that's why I hate the... the it's, it's not only you, okay? It's me too. That's why I don't like the this in general the the whole factory let's see boom instantly 450 by having three of these so we will very very quickly become out of hand now i'm thinking about doing the factory offline i would like to hear some opinions on this do people like this whole crafting aspect of the factory or do you want me to just do this offline unlock everything pretty much and try to push this as much as possible but i want to mention something if i do this offline you will not understand the progression happening because the difference is going to be like huge from one day to the other uh when i was uh, gathering i don't know a thousand like 600 per second right now tomorrow if i do it instantly i'm not gonna do it tomorrow but after i you know gather some opinions you're gonna see one day it's gonna be 10 per second the next day it's gonna be 20,000 per second something like that because if i'm gonna start crafting might as well do everything right might as well sit down and do just every single thing that has to need to get upgraded and um, yeah i just want to mention that or maybe i can just do intermediary stops like I could uh, get everything to tier 2 and then be like, yo guys, from I'm gonna transition from tier 2 to tier 3, so time for me to show it. I don't know, something like that I could do, but uh, we're gonna see. Let's get our last three plates. And now, as you see, we are insane. 1,050 per second is a lot. It's, it's free money, man. And 10 per second is gonna carry us after reset. So what is this? Is this the, is this the workshop? Okay, the, um, the construction firm has started creating new buildings that we didn't even have, the trading post and the museum. So we don't care about that. The only thing we care about is that it doesn't uh, level up the things we need right now. So, time to reset. Uh, we have 11 out of 25 modules here. The reason I'm resetting, by the way, in the middle of the video most of the time is because I want to be able to farm after I'm done with resetting. I need to upgrade another 14, uh, 14 modules. Very easily done to the max level. I'm gonna go just make everything into this currency. Then we're just gonna go with 100% um all of i need 14 right so i'm gonna throw i'm gonna create a second blueprint here which is gonna called let's go blueprints this is the run module modules we're gonna create a new one and we're gonna call it level up counter okay we're gonna go into the level up counter you're gonna go switch um use hello can i can i just switch okay got it level up counter we just put in things that are level one <laughs> uh, because otherwise I will just level up everything on the board until this counter hits 14 and when it hits 14 we don't have enough modules we cannot do it <laughs> anyway we're gonna go what we would do is all blueprints only yes all blueprints only yes and now everything of the these have been level has been leveled up to the max and this is obviously completely useless as we didn't achieve the starting run so let's go with run modules switch over to that um, honestly speaking can I yeah, I'm missing literally one module, um, so <laughs> might as well just activate this, go into a run, like in the next area. This has nine modules in it, so as long as we get, I, I guess, the ha half of these done, we should get at least one module out of this. And if I get at least one module out of this, I can go to the next area and reset. Now, the reset is not going to be a whole, like, 100% reset. It's going to be a semi-reset, so that's obviously good. And, um, yeah, I mean, there isn't anything else to say here. I could also very quickly unlock a module by just going into the tier 1 area and doing a challenge, because the challenges literally give you modules. Or I could even go experimenting, which also gives you modules. But I made the mistake and transform all my currency into uh, blues, so I can't do anything other than doing a run. And hopefully we're gonna beat this. Uh, at the end of the day, even if we don't beat this, I'm almost definitely gonna get the module out of this. Yeah, we're not gonna beat this. <laughs> the twenty, the the wave twenty fight, the boss was not even getting one shot, so we, we are we already have problems here. The opponents have seven thousand life, uh, seven million life, and we're doing about nine point six million as you see. So actually, I'm doing flat nine point six million on everything. Oh, by the way, I found out where to actually see the um, what what opponents like the the difficulties, not the difficulties, the what is powerful against what. Nice, Can't give me a module. Nope, didn't give us a module. Very nice. Let's go into an earlier region that has a lot of modules. For example, this one in medium, and we should be easily getting a module out of this. Easily. It has 12 modules, and we haven't beaten medium yet, so this uh, I don't see how we cannot get a module out of this. And at the end of the day, we need to do this either way either too, so 
And in general, like, you have... It is good to unlock the difficulties. Because later, when you get fed up and become insanely powerful quickly you know you need to have the difficulties already pre-unlocked so you can quickly um jump back to where you were because imagine being at reset number seven or something and then you haven't fought this on on hard or on nightmare and you want to just progress well you still have to go through medium ones through hard ones so through i don't know what's after hard like nightmare or something nightmare once so unlocking things and getting modules and all that has to happen at some point so might as well do it now there is a there is a meta progression that makes waves come in faster and um, that is also going to be really important in general but right now i don't think it really matters that much obviously it takes like three minutes maybe five minutes to do just a single test run on the tower but uh, i mean it's part of the game doing this is part of the game and uh, if anything i might be here you know talking to you guys because you know that's my job but um let's let's take this away but yeah what was i saying yeah but if you play this game on your own you're just gonna leave this run in the background like you can even put the um, whole game down you don't need to see what's happening the game doesn't pause on its own so you can run it in the background and while it's clearing everything you come back after three minutes and you're like okay we're done medium is beaten but uh, for me <laughs> for me we're gonna stay here and just beat this and talk about this now i think i'm gonna actually this this is like a nice scene by the way the game is not gonna stay as simple as it is right now i mean as of the tower is concerned you we will later get some spells that we can use we will get some uh, you know passives that do weird things right now i just have multi-attack and bounce and bounce bounce isn't even visible as far as i know can i can i go for slow motion for a moment is bounce visible no bounce isn't visible it just happens like boom instantly hits the whole back line uh, later we will get some effects like flamethrower and electricity and stuff so there will be some things happening we will have more passives that do weird things than just having bounce and multi-strike but for now we're just gonna stick to what we have which is a bounce and multi-strike i hope i'm gonna get i hope i'm gonna get a module here honestly and if anything i hope i'm gonna get a damage module because uh, you know i want a damage module i want to get aggressive i want to do damage uh, at least that's how I progress the game in my save file. Uh, obviously, the, the quickest way to get a module here would have been to just go experimenting. But as I said, the mistake I did was, um, you know, transforming all my resources into blues. You should not do that, by the way, if you play the game. Uh, also, about the producers I was creating previously in the factory, I would suggest you produce also purple ones, like, very quickly, because purple is a currency that is a bit expensive. And uh, in general, you should create the producers that have expensive, uh, that create expensive resources. I obviously created the one that gave me the ones I needed to quickly be able to reset after a reset. Uh, not reset after reset, come back to my power level where I was after reset. And I'm gonna like now get a module. We are gonna reset. I'm gonna show you how fast we're gonna get back to the point we were now that I have this new, you know, uh, the factory in the back making sure that we're gonna get powered up and um yeah i think after that i'm gonna once again say like okay guys that's how i'm gonna farm i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna farm and then i'm gonna end the video there so let's get clear here there was a factory day man <laughs> today was a factory day it took me what i thought it was it would take me five to ten minutes and took us what 15 to 20 like it takes a bit too much the factory takes a bit too much but the thing is the thing is i might be i might sound negative here but honestly speaking, it's another meta progression aspect that you can bite your teeth in and just do it. You know, it's a free game. And if you want to play with the factory and uh, like crafting and getting things, at the end of the day, you're not going to get anything negative out of it, right? It's not like you're going to waste your own time. If anything, factory, I think, is the one that ha has the best time investment for you. You might spend 20, 30, 50, one hour to craft things because there are a bunch of recipes and a bunch of things you have to do. That might be true, but... The reward you get out of it is uh, really quickly going to pay off. Like, as you saw, instead of gaining 0.02 resources per second, I'm gaining 10. And 10 orange per second at this stage of the game, we did not get a single module. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? What? You what? 40,000. Okay, where did we die? We, we have beaten this, which is 305,000. We have we lost the 1.7 million. 300 so this is 403 hmm hmm wait a minute did i get enough money to get some laboratory upgrades no it's upgrading the laboratory uh let's make you upgrade the, the arcade 
Okay, got it. Let's go with laboratory. Here's the laboratory. By the way, there is like a exotic skill, but I have zero out of two. This is, these are like super upgrades. Maybe we water these. Maybe this thing has something. Yeah, we got lifesteal. Nice. Good thing. Good thing, neutral experiment. I love the neutral experiment, man. You just you just press this button and at some point it hits the goal and you're done. I love this experiment. Um, this still goes on. As you see, we have started getting some heaters here slowly for free. I bought seven, but 25 of them got we got for free. Anyway, uh, now that I got the last thing we needed, lifesteal, I'm even going to put it in my run modules. And uh, yeah, lifesteal is lifesteal. I don't think I need to explain anything here. It's a very basic concept. Swift, what is lifesteal? Lifesteal in real life doesn't make sense as a concept. You can't steal someone's life. Anyway, let's continue. We got our headquarters done. So right now, what I want to do is... Well, normally speaking, I want to transform everything into something that I can use. So might as well make them green. Uh, throw them all into flame, I guess. Why not? Or I can even put it on this. I'm going to not explain this right now. It's too much. I'm going to explain this tomorrow. So let's go for flames. Let's go with ticks. Boop, boop, boop not let's go with this and let's maybe buy one of those yeah two of those so now i get three heaters even faster let's make heat reduction a bit less because this is the main cutoff point for heat reduction let's make the ticks a bit faster and i think that's enough now flame is also slowly gonna go towards the hundreds uh, as you see it's gaining like two grades I'm, I'm not sure if it's gonna hit the hundred because the insulator is very low right now but it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter let's expand this one more time can I make this expand to a thousand? I'm gonna expand this to a thousand later. Let's reset. Let's do it. So, military, tear up, go. Um, yes, everything will reset other than the math progressions, and we get 437 gems. Tear up, obviously. Here we're gonna choose what we're gonna go with. Let's not forget that I have, starting from the next military tier, your modules will not be fully reset, so I'm not even gonna have a reset modules here, which is really good for us. And here I can choose to either increase town XP gained from town testing by, by from tower testing by 1% for each skill point invested into a building skill. And then doubles the amount of workers. Doubles the amount of workers right now is not important, so we go with more XP. We can get the workers later. Like, it's it's literally the last thing to get. Let's buy another worker with the 300 we have. Hello? I've got him. So right now we have two out of three workers. We're not gonna have somehow 900. I don't know where we're randomly gonna find this. And let's make this worker... Um, work the mine and operate the drill. Like, restart, refills and restarts the drill as long as I have resources in the mine. Now, here we're going to go in the mine. And as you see, we already have gathered enough oranges here to start using this. And by doing this, I will also start gaining more whites through that as fast as possible. And um, yeah, this, as I said, this chains into, chain, chains into each other. So without even going for tower testing right now, I have already started producing a bunch of random resources that are going to be used for a bunch of things. This is the construction material, by the way. Let's continue looping everything around. Uh, we got some gems out of this too. That's the most important part of mining, by the way, that you get free gems. Because these gems are not really that easy to come by, especially in the beginning. Uh, do I need red ones? I, I think reds, red, like these are useless. These are for the factory. I don't care about the factory. And then I can also like open up some greens if I had enough money. Honestly, I don't have enough money, but look how many whites I just got. This, These whites are all from me just using this. From me playing with, um, playing with the mine. I, I didn't get 1.1 million because of, you know, the other things. Let's also invest some here. Let's go with 1,000. Not 1,000, but it's too much. 100? Are you kidding me? These are two big numbers. And yeah, the numbers are a bit too big. But uh, I want to upgrade these here. Fuel usage, maybe. I should have gone for drill power. Ah, it doesn't matter. Honestly speaking, it doesn't matter. Like, the the way, the, the the rate at which we gain money for fuel is better than the fuel consumption. So, as you see here, this refills it all the time. Every five seconds, we pay two, but we gain ten every second. So, we don't need to care about that anymore. Workshop, uh, we don't have any blues, but we do have con construction. So, 20 to 7. We have white construction is what I meant. Production, uh, construction, production, same words, man. Basic attack. 7.5k to level it up. I'm not sure this is worth it. I think I what I should actually do, first of all, let's not forget to activate the power plant. Well, mistakes were made. <laughs> do I have enough? How much does a coal? 60. Okay, can I have 60? No, I cannot have 60. Well, do you know how I can get 60? We go to the mine. We go to the second, the first. Uh, we go boop, boop. 
We, we gamble a bit. We got a few there. We got a few here. 32,000. Very nice. Go to the power plant. Let's get money. I need uh, 60. Boom. Done. Throw this out the bin. We put the coal in. Start gaining energy. We power everything up so everything becomes a lot faster. And now we go tower testing. Uh, I'm pretty sure we should be able to beat medium here again. Uh, is there any reason to run medium though? I could run this medium. I'm not sure if we beat this though. I mean, we can run this even if we lose. It isn't really that bad. Actually, no, 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 no. I mean, let's get some money here. And then I'm gonna no, no, no out of this. Uh, first of all, these have very little life. Yeah, okay, we're gonna beat this easily. So, because we're gonna beat this easily, we go headquarters. We go give him 20. We go, actually, why 20? Here, give him 100. It's not like we don't have money. We go contracts. We take the glass cannon. And now we run this again with the glass cannon active. Now we're gonna even... Wait, we have already beaten... <laughs> we have already beaten medium. Um, I don't want to fight something I already fought here. 65,000. We should be able to beat this, right? We're gonna see. Based on the life we're gonna... Damage we're gonna do. So we're doing 90,000 to, to 2 million. And the opponents have 40,000 life. We're not gonna be able to beat this. Like, yeah, I don't see us beating this. Wait. We are... Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We can't level up more. That's the main problem. And uh, I don't think we're going to be able to beat this. But if if we are, then then power to us. I mean, if we beat this, then we get a good farming sp spot. We are already in the millions, by the way, by just, you know, fighting through what we're already fighting. So the money we're going to gain here is not neg negligible. Yeah, we're doing millions. Opponents have 135,000 health. I'm not sure if at the end of wave... 90 they will have a million life if they have a million life then we will most likely die because if opponents don't get one shot yeah the boss got like five to six shots there angst 44,000. yeah i'm not sure about this but uh, we're gonna try our best here and even if we lose i mean i'm just gonna revert back to the previous area just try to beat that and um yeah after that farm that pretty much i think that's what i'm gonna do in general after i beat this so after I lose or beat this, I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure with the numbers I'm seeing that we should actually not be able to do this. But uh, we're going to see. Because opponents uh, scale exponentially. And uh, I'm seeing them gain 10,000 life every wave. So at wave... Oh, wait a minute. Then we're going to definitely make it. Like in 70 waves, they will have about 400, maybe 500 life no it's each tick goes up on this spot yeah so 60 more on this spot that would be about 90,000 so the opponents are about to get 90,000 max life so we should not make it we should die up at about wave 80 honestly speaking uh, especially because there are like tank units that have i think 2.5 times the enemy base health oh so i i also forgot to showcase where exactly you can see uh, what beats what yeah i'm gonna say that at the end and then we're gonna end this there depending on i mean regardless of if we win or lose here it, it doesn't like matter if we win or lose here at the end of the day yeah we lose we lose it's over <laughs> it's over they're coming close to us they're coming too close to us for my comfort and yeah these already have more life than i do damage the moment the tanks don't get one shot is the moment where you lose because no matter what you do at some point the boss will come along and if you're unlucky enough to have a boss and like five or six tanks attack you at the same time your tower will start attacking the tanks while the boss is coming in from the side and then the boss touches you and you're dead like the damage is not gonna one-shot us but the boss damage is definitely gonna one-shot us so there's that i still love the aesthetic look at this look at this like the aesthetic of this thing is so awesome to me it's coming. 1.38 million damage. Whoop. We still destroyed it pretty fast. We might have a chance. We might have a chance. But as I said, we just hit the number I mentioned. I said that we're gonna die at about wave 80. So we are very close to the point of that. And um, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed the game. Might not be the most exciting game in the universe, but it's very laid back, simple, clean. And there is always something new to explain because there are a bunch of mechanics that we still have not seen. Oh, we're dead. It's, it's, uh, we, we were super dead. It was universal. And when it's universal, you're dead. 
Uh, I'm gonna even explain now why. So we died there. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run back this fight and then I'm gonna do an idle farming on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, uh, We got the trading post. I'm gonna explain that tomorrow. We got the arcade. Might as well explain that tomorrow too. And uh, what else? Somebody told me about these town assets. You can just... First of all, let's get a few more of these to get, you know, more resources gained. And then somebody told that there is random here. Try to fill the remaining slots with random placed assets. Boom, done. I like all town assets. Toggle grid placement. No, I don't want grid placement. Toggle screenshot mode. No. <laughs> let's re Can I remove these? Ah, by clicking them, you remove them. Okay, let's remove all the... I put them in the same spot. And let's just make the game, boom, randomize. Now we get some random things like... Flames being in places. How big is this flame? It's pretty big. Okay. My town is burning. I don't like this. The rest are okay. And yeah, we get 30% more resources out of that. Uh, yeah, let's go workshop. Actually, this red within green. A bit weird. Let's go workshop. Let's put everything into workshop because, you know, we need to power up 1.95 million. And here we're gonna go with basic attack first as basic attack is the most important one. And now, as you can see, we go can, we can go up to tier 2. Tier 3. Attack speed 2, as that's also important. And honestly speaking, if I press all, it's gonna just level a few of them up. Which is stupid in my opinion. So we will do this on our own. Uh, pff, I mean, <laughs> there are so many things here that need upgrading. But let's begin with multi-shot related things. And I should have definitely, definitely, definitely um, go with... Oh, let's go with health first of all. Nice. I should have definitely... Um, leveled up some things before I went to the previous fight, but it is what it is. And here we run out of resources. You know what? Change of plans. Uh, I'm gonna do this one. You know what? Let, let me actually do this again, and I'm gonna come back to you when we hit level, like, tier... Not tier, like, the wave 80, where we were before. Um, uh, shift here, back again. <laughs> Whoops, I, as I said, I had the game running in the background. Literally, I was explaining it uh, earlier, and I missed the mark. So, we're at the wave 97 here. There is, like, no danger whatsoever, obviously. <laughs> Whoops, I'm gonna come back at wave 80. Th that's how you play the game, by the way. You leave the thing run in the background, then you come back, and boom, you you beat it or you didn't. Like, you you don't care about upgrading things. It's just, you you have what you are. Are you kidding me with the modules today? Not gaining any modules. Anyway, um, now, we got that down. So, obviously, going into higher difficulties here, the more down you go, the, the more money you gain. So, for example, hard on this difficulty, or even on this difficulty, hard on here... Will give you more money than medium on this one even though this has 65,000 difficulty and this has yeah actually forget the even though part i said because it's harder <laughs> and i think in general you gain more money in higher difficulties so even the first difficulty harder is gonna give us a f bit more than this at least medium i think anyway um the idle part we're gonna gain as you see it's it's a lot we gain about a lot of money so let's quickly go through, you know, the final upgrades. Let's have this construct whatever it decides to do. So let's give it like 100k. Boom. Construct whatever you want. Like these things. Oh, this costs 100k. 100k is almost not enough. I see. Give it 1 million. And you can craft whatever you want. So when we're going to come back, all of these will be upgraded. Uh, let's go into the workshop. Let's uh, throw the rest of our money in this. Is there anything important here? Uh, it has money, it has money, who cares about this for a moment, headquarters has money. You know what, let's put like 1k into this. And then let's make the rest into blues. Oop, done, all of them. And now we go over to this one, we go 100%, this, boom, done. And let's go all, yes. Yeah, and now I did like a huge mistake, as you see, we lost everything. But it doesn't matter, you know why? Because even though we lost everything now, I can just... Press this button here, boom. And it really doesn't matter that I don't have a good tower because I can just leave this running and this is what I'm gonna do. Now, before I leave here, uh, I have one minute. If you enjoy the video... <laughs> okay, let me go through. No, not hints, not hints. Where's the guide? If you go into any guide whatsoever, you can find here in tower testing... Uh, we're in basics? Elements, yeah, in basics elements. And you can see here the elements. But I'm gonna analyze this tomorrow, okay? Because I'm out of time and I don't really want to make this another our one hour video. So this is where you see it. I'm gonna explain tomorrow how we can use this to create a good tower. Anyway, that is going to be it. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. Helps out the channel. As always, we are filled with flame here on the map. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to continue the series. It's pretty relaxed. It's not really that hard on me. It's um, it's like a chill experience. And I hope you guys didn't mind today's um, factory 1000 hour run. But I mean, it's part of the game. But I would like to know, uh, do you want me to see... Uh, create the factory or not if if you want to see me create the factory it will be about how it was today so it will take a while but you will know what is happening i will not show you me crafting the plates obviously but i will show you me crafting you know every machine if you want to see that otherwise i can just skip this whole thing entirely and just tell you every time i'm upgrading something yo guys now our production is this so you can decide so comment down below and tell me what you prefer anyway that's going to be it for today as i said if you enjoyed drop a like subscribe to the channel and comments about everything are welcome once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.